Reporting live from the rink at Scarborough Town Center. It's live from last week, episode 52. Let's go! Welcome you, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Laugh From Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So right now, tonight, after my night shift, on a beautiful day, on a beautiful night, with the beautiful wife, we are at the rink at Scarborough Town Center, which is actually an artificial skating rink that they made here at the mall. But yeah guys, going back to last week, when the wife and I started the Fast and the Furious movie marathon series, this afternoon we continued with one of our favorites, Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. So we're slowly making our way through the series, one movie at a time. Anyways, before we wrap it up for the night, I just have a quick birthday greeting to one of my elementary school friends. And this birthday greeting goes out to Alyssa. Happy birthday, Alyssa. I'm remembering the times going to elementary school at Good Shepherd with you, meeting you and seeing that you were one of the most kindest and sweetest people that I have ever met. Anyways, Alyssa, hope you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. Guys, tell me how I forgot to let you guys know that my Mini got an oil change yesterday at the same old place where I got my winter tires changed. So, I'm just doing this to let you guys know about my milestones for my Mini. So now my Mini is driving nice and smoothly. But after I signed off with you guys last night, the fiancé and I continued on with our Fast and the Furious Marathon. We actually did a little movie mini date where we got some sushi and beer and actually had a dinner and movie at home. But yeah, last night we watched the fifth installment of the Fast and the Furious series. But unfortunately, I think I fell asleep through half of it. So this afternoon, we resumed watching Fast Five and afterwards captured Fast and the Furious 6. And I also forgot to mention to you guys about the ice surface that we skated on last night. And it was interesting because it was like no ice surface that I've ever skated on before. This skating rink isn't even really made out of ice. It looks like it's made out of these plastic panels that simulate the conditions of real ice. Wow, this is so weird. Look, instead of ice shavings, it's like plastic. So weird. Ah. And unfortunately, the wife actually broke her skate yesterday. So earlier tonight, I took her out to try to find and buy some new skates at a local shop that I haven't been to in a long time called Play It Again Sports. And we got her some new Nike Bauer skates for only 45 bucks. And now, after all that hard work, we're here at Popeyes to get some delicious dinner, fill our tummies with some chicken and beer, and also catch one more movie in the Fast and the Furious franchise. But first, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my Ryerson friends, Jessica. Happy birthday, Jess. I'm remembering first meeting you at a CPR course back before we did nursing school with Ronnie, Randall, Jess M, and Layla, and also randomly seeing you at the hospital every now and then. Anyways, Jess, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. 
Next birthday greeting I have for you guys is for one of my YSIC friends, Dave. Happy birthday, Dave. I'm always remembering all the Blue Jays talks that we would have back when we were at YSIC. As well as owing you the DVD, The Pursuit of Happiness. But hopefully one day, I'll either give you that DVD or refund you that five bucks that you used to buy that movie from me. Anyways, Dave, hope you're doing well. Stay safe and healthy at this time. Hope the family's doing well as well. And I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. So yesterday, actually, before I took the wife ice skating shopping, we also did some adulting shopping by going to Canadian Tire and buying some brand new pans and a brand new chopping board. But on to today, where I spent the whole day editing live from last week video, I wanted to make some rice. But actually had to refer to an old live from last week video in order to check out the life hack on how to open a rice bag. After going out this morning and buying some rice, just wanted to go over the life hack on how to open a rice bag. We're going to approach the bag from the front, locating the left side of the bag, getting some scissors and cutting the string on the left side of the bag. Next, we look at the back of the bag and we pull some strings out. And by doing this, we unravel the seal of the bag, thus opening the bag very easily for access to the rice. Good job. And after following those directions, I was able to make my rice. And yeah, before I go into work for a one and only night shift tonight, the wife and I are going to try to continue on with our Fast and the Furious marathon and finish the eighth installment of the Fast and the Furious franchise. But before I leave you guys for the day, I just have a couple of birthday greetings. Starting with one of my old roommates back at Neil Weissick, Steph. Happy birthday, Steph. I'm remembering when we first moved into res in 2005, and how you really helped me adjust to life outside of home. Being one of the first roommates that I've ever had and who I really connected with. Anyway, Steph, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. Next birthday greeting goes out to one of my childhood friends, Trevor. Happy birthday, Trev. I'm remembering back in the day playing house league soccer with you and really admiring at how hard you hustled on the pitch as well as the times that we would play pond hockey together back behind Wade Square. Anyways, Trav, hope you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. And for my final birthday shout out for the day, I have a birthday greeting to my cousin, Marvin. Happy birthday, Marvin. Man, I'm remembering the times when you were little and I brought you and Makmar to the CN Tower and us playing tag all around the observation deck as well as me making you laugh when I was doing push-ups on the glass floor. Anyways, Marvin, hope you and Tita are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Can't wait for the summer to pick up so that we can play some tennis together again. And I'm hoping that you had an amazing birthday this year. So last night while I was working, I remembered that one of my buddies from university sent me a picture that she was working on the unit that I work on. And she decided to put up some holiday artwork on the wall that the whole staff has been decorating for the holidays while I was away from work. And guess what guys, I found it. So yeah, shout outs to Amanda for putting up that Among Us character on our wall. And hopefully I'll get to reunite with you and Pav sometime again in the future. But anyways, continuing on with work topics, I just have a little bit of sad news to report to you guys today. Last night on my night shift was actually the last time I'll be working with this fellow. So I had to say goodbye to him yesterday evening during shift change. All right, Joseph, thank you for uh, working with me. Yeah. Do you have any advice? Oh, uh, congratulations. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy working wife. with you. All right, Listen Joseph, to your wife. miss you, man. Good. Have a good luck in the yeah, future. Enjoy, enjoy my, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Joseph, it was so great working with you by my side, getting to know you and the stories that you share with you and your family. And I'm wishing you nothing but the best for the future. Anyways, continuing on earlier today, I finally went back and dabbled into some stocks once again, buying Airbnb for a discount price of 150. Although I was updated on my other stocks, which aren't doing so well, as you guys can tell right here. So I'm hoping that this Airbnb stock will help me get back to breaking even. So yeah, after I was able to take a post night shift nap earlier today, the wife and I got to continue on our Fast and the Furious marathon and we were able to finish the Fast and the Furious 9. 
And boy, this series is getting crazier and crazier by the movie. So yeah, I guess we're almost caught up. To the point that when Fast and the Furious 10 comes out, we'll be able to watch it right where we left off. Anyways, I'm over here at a local Scarborough Domino's because the wife is craving a little bit of pizza today. So I'm gonna do that life hack by using the seat warmers in the mini to keep the pizza nice and warm and do my patented Uber food delivery for the wife. But to be selfish, before I go on and feed her, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, I want to wish a happy birthday greeting to one of my FSAT friends, Tony. Happy birthday, Tony. I'm remembering back in the day when we were going to FSAT events together as well as seeing you run into Toronto Zoo races a couple years back. Anyways, Tony, I hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. The next birthday greeting I have for you guys is for one of my former co-workers, Cheryl. Happy birthday, Cheryl. I'm remembering almost 10 years ago, going to school up at Humber and doing the critical care course with you, as well as always joking around with you at work, with you always being FT and me living the PT life, Anyway, Cheryl, it's been a long time due that we will all catch up together one day sometime soon. And I'm hoping that you're doing well, staying safe and healthy, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday as well. So, a couple of days ago, on the advice from my dad, I went ahead and bought some Raptors basketball tickets at the Scotia Bank Arena that's set for today. The only thing is, is that because of the surge in pandemic cases, the Ontario government has set a 50% capacity limit on all sporting events in Ontario. So unfortunately, the tickets that I bought a couple of days ago for this event were then cancelled. So this morning, when Ticketmaster revealed that they were reselling capacity limit tickets to this game, I went and splurged some money and bought a pair of tickets for my dad and I to go see the game tonight. But then I heard some other bad news that my dad might not be impressed about. Because the Golden State Warriors want to give a couple of their star players some rest tonight, one of my favorite players, Steph Curry, isn't gonna be playing or even showing up at the arena. So, sorry dad, I know that you wanted to watch Steph Curry play basketball in front of your live eyes tonight. That's not happening. Hey dad, what is your reaction to Steph Curry not playing tonight? And me spending a lot of money on these tickets? I know, Steph Curry discriminate Toronto, but I don't think so. <laughs> he's, yeah, he, he's scared with the uh, Omicron. So, safe to say, my dad is disappointed, right? Really? Either way, my dad and I are going to make the most of it, still go watch and cheer on the Raptors, whether our favorite player Steph Curry is there or whether he's not. So come with me, guys, and let's go check it out. Hey dad, so did you enjoy yourself? Oh yes, very much. Alright, what's your review of the game? Oh, uh, Steve Curry cannot slip anymore. Because <laughs> he lost his uh, team. You heard it here first. Dad says Steph Curry cannot sleep because he lost his team. <laughs> okay, where's the washroom? Good morning guys. So we're up bright and early at 7 o'clock in the morning today because the wife and I are scheduled to get our third shot, AKA the booster shot. And guess what? It's also Sunday. So come join us on our first edition of Let Your Wife Drive Sundays. So unfortunately, since the wife was a little bit too tired to drive after her night shift this morning, the official premiere of Let Your Wife Drive Sundays has been postponed. But either way, the wife and I still made our way to get our third COVID shot of the year, the booster shot. Oh, shot, shot. 
And to recover from our sore arms, the wife and I went to a local Tim Hortons and got the new Justin Bieber inspired Timbits, the Tim Biebs. And to be honest, they're actually pretty good. Nom 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 nom. But moving on to later on this evening, since I was inspired by the Fast and the Furious series that I've been watching all week, I turned on the Twitch app on my Fire TV and I saw a stream that featured drag street racing that I've been watching all night tonight. Later this evening, after dropping off the wife to work her night shift tonight, I also remembered that I received a coupon for a free slice from Pizza Pizza from the Raptors game last night. The only thing is, when I went into Pizza Pizza this evening to try to redeem the coupon, the Pizza Pizza restaurant told me that they stopped accepting coupons for the free slices. And I was confused because the coupon clearly states that it expires tomorrow. So when I asked once again to try to redeem the coupon, the guy behind the counter told me I had to pay for it. So after spending half an hour warming up the car and making my way to Pizza Pizza, I decided that it was just not worth it to try to argue with the guy just for some stale pizza. But what I did though was try to call the Pizza Pizza hotline. And after waiting for 10 minutes on hold, they told me the same thing, that time had expired for the coupon to be used. And on the phone I was like, it clearly says on the coupon that it expires tomorrow. But evidently that argument still didn't change the customer service's mind. And I was still left without a free pizza slice. So my overall experience with Pizza Pizza is a big thumbs down for not honoring the coupons on the day that they're not expired and, funny enough, keeping me hungry and leaving me to resort to eating my Tim Biebs for dinner. But enough of the bad news, let's go on to some good news. In the form of birthday greetings. With my first birthday greeting going out to one of my former classmates in university, Jana. Happy birthday, Jana. I'm remembering going to class with you back in the day while we were going to Ryerson. And also surprise visiting you every so often at Shoppers where you used to work in the Eaton Center. Anyways, Jana, hope you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. And for my next birthday greeting of the day, I want to wish a happy birthday to Roxy. Happy birthday, Roxy. I'm remembering first playing beach volleyball with you over a decade ago and how you always make it fun playing with or against you on the beach. And I'm also appreciating your laid back attitude and the jokes that you would crack when we were playing. Anyways, Roxy, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday as well. So last night, instead of getting enough rest and sleeping so that I could wake up early to pick up the wife from work this morning, I decided to get all the Christmas wrapping paper out and try to wrap this huge, humongous gift that I have for Christmas for the wife this year. And I'm pretty excited to see what her reaction is when she opens this gift on Christmas Day. So anyways, after about four hours of sleep last night, I picked up the wife from work. And while driving, we saw the beautiful Toronto red sky while the sun was still rising. And man, was it a very beautiful sight to see. But yeah, moving on, I got some good news for us. Although yesterday we missed the premiere of Let the Wife Drive Sundays, the wife took her first steps in getting her G2 license. And actually, as we speak, she's going for her first ever in-car driving lesson. So yeah, good luck to the wife, and I know that you'll do well on your first day of classes. But anyways, I'm going in for my first of my four night shifts tonight. And before I do, I just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys for today. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to my Tito Ronil. Happy birthday, Tito Ronil. I'm remembering every Christmas that you would always do a raffle for all the cousins for the Christmas presents. And I'm very thankful for winning that raffle that one year and getting this pretty cool home theater soundbar from you that I still use to this day. And did I mention that I also admire the style that you bring with the fedora hats that you wear every so often? Anyways, Tito Renil, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. And my next birthday greeting for you guys today is a belated one to my Tita de Ping. Happy belated birthday, Tita de Ping. I'm remembering the times back in the day when we used to visit you at Tim's. As well as visiting you, Tito Margarito, and Makmar in Scarborough for Makmar's birthdays. Anyways, Tito de Ping, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Say hi to the family, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. So yeah guys, that pretty much wraps up this week's episode. But, in case you guys didn't know, next week is going to be a special Live From Last Week episode. Because it's when Live From Last Week celebrates its first year anniversary. So, next week, be sure to tune into that week's episode. 
But if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.